more than 17,000 players have registered for the Imperia Online World Cup 2015, which will officially commence any moment now. Welcome to the Daily World Cup News. We are starting the program which will keep you up to date with all the important events, news, drama, facts and emotions because this is the World Cup. And are you ready for it, everyone? I think we are already at least here in our studio. Uh, are the devs who are responsible for launching the whole thing? That's a different story. Behave, Diane. They can hear you. All bad things could happen to you. Ooh. Smile and be polite. Well, again, this is something you wrote on the script. <laughs> I can wash my hands. You are broadcasting negative energy at the moment. We mm. don't need that. No. Just smile. The sun is shining. Everything's cool. All right. We are... You can call me Dian, not the sun. Yes, I know. Right. All right. We are... Uh, in business, we are on the way. The World Cup qualifiers 2015 should uh, should have already started. And um, let's uh, first see how many people uh, registered uh, for the World Cup. Uh, may I have the screen, please? These, these are the figures and the numbers uh, uh, on our official site. 17,305. 129 countries you can see the timer is at zero which means that uh, uh, we uh, we should be um, online with the qualifiers but before we go let's uh, just see north america 15 um, countries south america 10 countries brazil and the other uh, latin american big players are here europe probably the most competitive uh, continent in uh, our World Cup, just like it's in uh, the Football World Cup. Asia, uh, 37, um, Africa, 21, Australia and Oceania, uh, 3. And also we have uh, the statistics uh, by countries and we already have breaking news and uh, of course uh, all time uh, well not all time that my personal favorites uh, uh, Georgia are in top 10 uh, by reg uh, registrations in this uh, World Cup 2015 Brazil leads uh, the um, uh, the registration uh, count followed by Romania, uh, Russia, Turkey, Bulgaria with uh, very serious uh, Solid figures. Number, yeah. Yes, uh, uh, Serbia, Georgia, Poland, Argentina, Italy, Ukraine, Croatia way back, but uh, as you know, the Croatians are not about quantity, but uh, quality. Quality, yeah. of course. Colombia, Egypt are uh, the other big uh, surprise. A lot of registrations from uh, uh, Egypt. Uh, uh, they are ahead of uh, Spain, ahead of US, ahead of uh, uh, Germany, um, and etc. 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 Iran, uh, the the last World Cups uh, uh, bronze. Medalists. Uh, medalists are here, of course, and everyone else, as you can see, let's say, uh, let's repeat the rules again. 30 players uh, from each nation, three reserves. Uh, if you have minimum five players with network points, you go to the group phase as long as you have gained uh, any kind of network points. Yeah. All right, Jan. Are we ready? To I, show them I hope all. we are ready. Let's see. Uh, yes, can I have it on my screen right now? Yes, you can see the qualifiers have begun. What the hell was that? I think my trumpet needs a fix, quick fix. Yes, and uh, we have a fancy uh, uh, writing so on and my our fancy screen. Music. Of course, we have flags. We have. Uh, um, we have started the qualifiers. Everything is uh, uh, in place. Yeah. The players have one hour to raise their network points yes. in order to um, to be eligible <laughs> for attacks by the Nomad Horde. And speaking about the Nomad Horde and uh, its coming, 
what are the players' most important decisions during the first hour of uh, this uh, um, tournament? Well, the the development uh, it's not so much different than the regular uh, regular development. Uh, they should do the all the normal stuff they do while they start a new game in a in a new realm. Uh, as you can see, we have the 25 archers here. Uh, they can develop uh, as much as they want. The attack will scale, by the way, by, yeah. they, by their development. By their development. Um, uh, I saw, by the way, in the comments of our last podcast, uh, I saw a challenge from accepted from uh, Mr. Uh, Naga Haidt. Uh, he wants to lose the, the first battle. Well, I can now tell you which are the worst and the best possible outcomes from this first attack, which will start in yes. one hour, approximately. By, by the way, we had our argument. I repeatedly asked the devs, is yeah. it possible well, to lose it's this first attack? We, we tried to make things so uh, soft to all of the players, so nobody loses the first attack, but uh, there is always scrubs <laughs> everywhere. And, and some <laughs> maybe... I'm sure, I'm sure they, they are all accidents. Yeah, accidents. Not uh, a bad by the way, play. The best uh, outcome is to level your fortress to level 2, uh, to hire some more archers, get them inside, and you are absolutely uh, assured that you defend against this first uh, barbarian attack. The worst outcome is uh, you dismiss your 25 archers. Yeah. Uh, you invest... Like, like a lot of players do. Yeah, uh, or put them on the field. Uh, you invest a lot of resources on uh, researches or buildings which are not military-oriented. Yeah. Uh, your network points scale and the attack gets a bit stronger. And even then, there is a little, uh, a little bit of chance you can lose, but you can still lose, by the way. How in the well, world can you lose? You know how the battle uh, works and the and the morale works. Uh, there were some occasions in which the the pikemen, which are uh, the first attacks, yeah. the first attack, one uh, thousand, the, the the pikemen uh, accidentally <laughs> had enough morale to enter the fortress. Accidentally. And your archers are not there. No, I dismissed them. I just <laughs> wanted to try it out. <laughs> what did you do with them? I send them to farm. <laughs> <laughs> let's go home and let's. Yeah. Uh, you you are in. Uh, Barbarians in are coming. <laughs> let's farm some. <laughs> go home to your families. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. So, please, people, do not dismiss your archers, and don't don't try any kind of shenanigans yeah. in order to well, impress us. Uh, Mr. Nagarhide will <laughs> for <laughs> yes. sure. We we he are expecti sure. expecting your uh, result, uh, Mr. Katsumoto. Nagarhide. Uh, all right, Nagahide. Okay. Uh, I, I, I will be very amused yes, if he yes, manages to lose this first attack. It will be very attack. curious to see your result uh, tomorrow about this uh, first attack. Speaking of attacks, uh, uh, okay, one more reminder. You have one hour, four o'clock. PM, the first normal... Uh, 51 minutes, actually. Yes, server time. The first Nomad wave uh, is coming. It consists of uh, uh, 1,000 miserable, <laughs> poor and very sad uh, pikemen. Yeah. Which will assault your uh, extremely beautiful and powerful level 1 fortress with its awesome garrison of uh, 25 long-range elite elves. Sniper, bow, RPGs, RPGs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ten, thanks. Oh, so don't lose these twenty-five archers, please. Uh, well, uh, speaking of attacks, Dian, one more que uh, question uh, before we leave everyone to their accounts and stop bothering them. Uh, uh, how will the players prepare for the new qualifier uh, cycle? Fifty waves, ten hours each. Uh, to, which means tomorrow we will have two yeah. results yeah. Uh, during our love life uh, show. Uh, how do you prepare for this uh, a lot more hardcore and intense schedule? Energy drinks. That's all. Energy drinks. Energy drinks, a lot of calculations, because uh, now you will have two waves to defend from a yes. day. And uh, tactical decisions. Yes. 
is will will the will will losing uh, be as much meaningful as it was before or well, you we, can we you just can, we, we have seen that people uh, we just improve the chance of losing <laughs> by yes. adding more waves yes uh we saw that the players want uh, more challenge yeah Everybody says, like, I want to be more chale yeah. challenged, uh, yeah. I want uh, tougher opponents, yeah. I want more waves. We had uh, a lot of uh, comments in yeah. previous uh, podcasts. Qualifiers that are too easy, too blah, easy blah, 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 blah. Without yeah. diamonds, I want the yeah. qualifiers. Okay, we gave you uh, what you asked for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of sleepless nights. We we hope that you are all uh, prepared. Uh, by, uh, by the way... Uh, one more question. Uh, we um, we have seen how people are um, strategically pass some of the pillages. Do you think that it will happen a lot more during these qualifiers, considering there are a lot more attacks, you need population, uh, and uh, you will have to defend it by any means necessary. You know how surprisingly... Uh, tough and trolling the pillages could be yeah considering they are field battles yeah the, the pillages was was a big uh, were a big pro problem uh, the last qualifiers uh, but uh, i think it will be all the same it's uh, just a, a more of a quantity right now but if you lose you lose you lose uh, your uh, improvement in the yeah. current province you, you lose uh, income it will draw you back for sure do you think that uh, you uh, there will be players who will be able to annex a province before the first wave hits? Yes, it's, it is possible. It is absolutely possible. One yes. hour. One hour. One hour for, for, for annexing the first province, yes. We will see. We will see. We will I see. bet there will be. Uh, because uh, some of the players would want a uh, boosted attack against them. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, by taking centralization, you know it's a lot of resources at uh, at the start, and the attack will boost a lot. Yeah. Well, not a lot, but yeah, considerably, and uh, some of them maybe want battle of of the day. Okay. Now, uh, now we have we have everything covered. Uh, for just now. for their just for their personal feelings. Yeah, yes. one battle. Of yes. The day. yes. 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 Forty five minutes until the first wave uh, uh, hits you all. Guys, we wish you all good luck. Uh, we are extremely happy that we will be here with you every day, 3 p.m. Uh, server time. Good luck to all. Kill a lot of uh, nomads. Stay alive. And don't dismiss your archers because tomorrow we, we will laugh at you. <laughs> we will laugh at you, of course. That's all for the first uh, podcast, guys. Uh, and before we are finished, of course, we will ask you a question. I, God, I totally forgot about this. It's uh, because of all this excitement. Uh, the question, of course, we will have prices tomorrow. And the question uh, on which I want you all to uh, answer tomorrow is... Uh, but in the most creative and funny way. Yes, yes of course. Please. Not some uh, boring uh, wall of text uh, l uh, like uh, Mr. Nagahide. Nagahide. Uh, Naga he said Nagahide. But he likes to be called Nagahide. All right. Um, uh, wrote us in uh, as a comment in our uh, last show. Which country will win the World Cup and why? Georgia, Georgia, yes, Georgia. or Antarctica, Georgia. of course. Our Again, favorites, Antarctica. our, our favorites. Be uh, uh, you can be rest assured that we took uh, uh, precautions f uh, in order to for Georgia to win this uh, World Cup because why not and because we can, <laughs> of course. Well, well, <laughs> that's all for our first news podcast, guys. Join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. server time when we will cover the first two waves to hit the World Cup 2015. Nationals wanna be. Will there be defensive losses? Who Will knows? the players give us reason to mock and laugh at them? Will we see surprises and drama in the first uh, day of the qualifiers? All this and more tomorrow. For country and glory. <laughs>